Pablo. Do you want to come home with us? So we're gonna go home and get a halter and he is coming home with us. I will tell you all about it as soon as this happens. See you in just a minute. Hi guys, welcome back to Texas Unicorns. Today we got really exciting news. Our neighbor texted us and she wants to give us her donkey. Now the cool thing is is this donkey his name is Pablo he's already gelded and he used to live at the house that we just bought so he's literally coming back home for his forever home oh, what do you think girls we're walking to go get him we don't know if he's halter trained he's really friendly he lives at the end of the road of where we live and always comes up to us to have us pet him how's Beansha gonna react guys She's gonna try to assert dominance. <laughs> She'll put him in his place, I guess. Cause and she's then like, the other donkeys will be buddies, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. This might take a while. Good boy. Pablo is doing good. Gonna get him home and see how he reacts to Rico Suave. So we don't know how old. Pablo is. We're gonna find out more information hopefully from the old owner. I'm gonna text him and see if he knows anything. He is so cute. <laughs> Should we be kind of far away? Because <laughs> they could start acting up. Oh, they probably will. Let's just let them... Well, should we be like out of the way? Yeah, we are. Like I mean like outside of the yard? So basically there's going to be this dominance level with adjusting. So Pablo is just standing there letting him sniff. He's 
being submissive, which is good. He looks like a little lamb right there. So Rico's just checking him out. Are you freaking out, Binta? What do you think? You'll end up loving Pablo, right? All right, so I think we should just leave everyone alone. Yeah. It's hot out. I don't like how she runs away from me when I have this. Well, now's not the time to be working with her where she's all in a tizzy. Binta, you're gonna love Pablo. I can tell Rico's gonna be the boss of Pablo already. I'm not going back there. Coming after you. He's like, just show me where the treats are. Show me where the treats are. One, Pablo. Huh. Yeah. He didn't like the sound. I wanted to add this short bonus clip. It's day three of having our new donkey pablo and we know that flies do not like the coconut oil so we're trying that we already have a fly spray they had put a vaseline horse ointment all over his legs because he does have lots of bites his past home he was in a really big pasture it's been really hot out and so we're really trying to gain more information on what is the best for the fly issues and equine There's one. Can we get another second dose on it? Oh, he kind of checked it. Let's get him. Here's another treat. Ah, oh, this child. Sure, it hurts. He definitely doesn't like to be restrained. Not used to that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Comment below why you think Pablo, our donkey, is stretching his mouth like this. He's got a treat stuck in his throat. In his nose? No, in his throat, because why does he keep doing that? I don't know. I think he might have teeth problems. Just kind of seems like it. Oh, yeah, you want to rub yourself on me. <laughs> Can you go do that to the trees? Okay, thank you. That's so funny. Rico just follows him everywhere now. Okay, watch. He totally opens the door. Here you go. Yeah. You like those alfalfa cubes?
Was that fun, Rico?